Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to do some extreme color correction in Adobe After Effects to get your perfect film look. So the entire idea of making a tutorial on this topic is to take a shot that is just not usable, just not workable and to make it into something that is workable and you can use it into your short film. So awesome people, this is what we are going to start with. This is completely, again, not workable, just not usable. But after some post magic, it looks like this. And this, in my opinion, is definitely workable. Another example would be this shot right here. Again, not workable, definitely workable. So let me show you how to do all of this in Adobe After Effects and let's get started. So awesome people, this is uh, the shot that we have. And uh, here are a few images from where I was filming this. So you can see awesome people that we didn't have much lights to work with. Now, this tutorial is made for uh, new upcoming filmmakers, right? We don't have big cameras, uh, no lighting setup, but they still want to shoot something, right? And now awesome people, you can, you can go out there, shoot something, and I'm gonna show you how to fix it in post, and let's get started. So again, no lights, but let's add lights in post. Right. Alright, so the first thing awesome people is to just see what you are working with. Now I would say that awesome people, if I was to put more time into this, I would get a much 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 better result. For example, right here awesome people, there's his hand, my actor's hand, if I was able to roto the hand, I would be able to individually affect the hand and I could brighten it up without worrying about the gun or anything in the background. So if you put more time into it, you can end up with something that's a lot better. But uh, I'm gonna assume that you guys are on a deadline. So let's get started with that, uh, you know, with keeping that in mind. So the first thing awesome people is to create a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna call this basic cleaning. And this by the way is the workflow that I follow. So this is a real deal awesome people, not just something I made up uh, for making a tutorial. All right, so basic cleaning, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add levels to this. I'm gonna go to effect, color, levels. Now you can do the same thing also people with course, but in my opinion, levels are a lot easier to work with because you can see the color data over here. You can you cannot see the color data in curves. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna take this to the, to the left, bring this to the right, and you can see that, you know, just by that we have improved the footage a lot. There's a lot, uh, there's still a lot of noise and a lot of, um, you know, mistakes in the shot, but we are getting a better look. So this is before, this is after. Now, the entire process of color correction, awesome people, is based on trial and error. You cannot say that, okay, this is a red cast, I'm gonna go to the blue channel, increase that, go to the red channel, decrease that, and boom, the color correction is done. It doesn't work like that. That is theory, this is practicality, if that's a word. But, you know, you, you guys get the idea. You have to see what works best for what shot, and then work accordingly. So again, no rules over here, awesome people. Move the sliders, see what works best and uh, you know work accordingly so again this is a lot better this is brightening up my stuff now you can sort of take a preview now i i already know that what the shot is so i don't need to do this but you guys can you know sort of look at uh the stuff that you're doing okay and get an idea that okay this is too bright for this shot i can maybe cut out the adjustment layer over here you know do something like that May maybe add in an opacity fade use using this that's the beauty of using the adjustment layers awesome people and kind of just mark out stuff, you know, use the asterisk key on your numeric keypad and mark out stuff, okay? You can even leave a message over here that too bright or, you know, too dark or something. So do that and uh, this is the place or this is the part where you just look at your footage. Next awesome people is denoising. So new adjustment layer and I'm going to use an effect called denoiser. Now this is a third party plugin from Magic Bullet but this works wonders. Now, a lot of time people are like, why is my denoising not working? I wonder what's wrong. And uh, a good chance is awesome people that you have the preview set to something other than full. If you want to take a look at what denoising or, or, or denoiser is doing for you, you have to set the preview to full. If you have set it to half or quarter, this is not going to work. So example, half, you know, you can see that there is absolutely no change, right? But if I take it to full, there is going to be some sort of change. You can see this much much better so denoiser definitely helps you awesome people to get rid of grains um from your footages and it's a very good investment if you are a film editor a movie editor a very good investment 
definitely go out there get the noiser and anyways um so this is getting better but there is still a lot of color cost on the on the footage so what are we gonna do now awesome people we're gonna create another adjustment layer and i'm gonna call this cc color correction and now awesome people i'm gonna go to color correction effect i'm gonna take curves uh, previously I used levels this I'm gonna go for code so again you can use levels again and again the idea is to get your perfect thing done all right so it doesn't matter what effect you use as long as it gets the work done so all right now you can see that there's a lot of red in the footage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the red channel and just bring this down bring it down there you go now if you were to go a little too far you'll see that the green and the blue channels come into the picture so you don't want to go again very very down but just a bit right so you can remove the red from the image maybe add a bit of contrast like that and you can see that we definitely have gotten rid of the red so this is red cost no red cost much better this looks good awesome people uh, next what you can do is you can sort of check out all the other channels maybe add a bit of brightness to this see what works right maybe bring this down add a bit of contrast like this this is gonna be again very simple stuff uh, it just comes down to experimenting and how much time are you gonna put into adding something that is um, you know how like how much time you want to spend into making your film look better now awesome people i would like to cover this part that if you're working with curves and you mess up the curve you can just click on this icon right here instead of clicking reset which is going to reset all the work that you have done just click on this line and it's going to reset just that particular channel i can again start my work again if i did goof up no worries and this looks much better so uh red cost no red cost red cost no red cost so this, this is good now again awesome people if you were to take the time out to roto out the face rotoscope out the face and to uh, color correct the face individually you would get a better result right if a client is paying you for that then that's good but if you don't have the time if the client is not paying you for that then forget about it go ahead next awesome people is to do a color grade right now color grade is basically adding that one look that one sort of look you know, that you purposely add to get some sort of feel for example uh, in this this whole sketch was sort of a depressing sort of sketch that you know the guy in the end kills himself and we would not want to go for bright colors you want to go for a very monoistic um, dark tone so an another adjustment layer I'm gonna call this color grade right and this time awesome people I'm gonna go for magic bullet looks these are basically um, very very well made presets that, that you can edit um, but there are so many presets with this third party plugin that it, they just make your work a lot easier so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to classic music videos that set they have tons of sets over here I'm gonna go to that folder uh, and I'm gonna take this option right here which is sharp if, if I take that you can see that how my image just changes completely so this is uh, before this is after see that much much better if I click on finished This is my final footage. This looks amazing But if you think that this is a little too much what you can do is since we're using adjustment layers uh, We can bring down the opacity to 75 or say 50 so we can sort of get uh, you know best of both worlds We and we are getting that color grade, but you're not getting that extreme color grade and of course you can make another adjustment layer call it color grade or color grade 2 but it looks one more time edit and this time awesome people I'm gonna go with um, black and white tint effects over here and I'm gonna choose black and white church and again this is I, I, I can't even see the bloody hand so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the T key bring it to 50 right okay, maybe not 15 say 25 25 definitely 25 and I get this so before after see that awesome people now to complete the full thing uh, you can add in a little boxing effect by creating a new solid I'm gonna call this boxing hit the S key break the link and change the second value to 80 change the uh, blending mode from normal to stencil alpha and this is what you get now so again awesome people we started with this and we ended up with this 
So in my opinion, a very good color correction done. Seeing that how quickly we were able to make something like this, um, I, I think this was a very good color correction. Awesome people, leave your opinions down in the comments box uh, saying if this was a good color correction done or no. I would really like to know what you guys think and if I could have done this in a better way or if I could have done it better in general. So my name is TJ Style. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial and I will see you all next time. Take care everyone.